In this video, we're going to be going over the system administration portion of the Linnell OnGuard software. So let's start by going to Start All Programs, OnGuard, and System Administration. As you can see, we've got a lot of icons and a lot of menu items. The two you're going to want to worry most about are administration. Uh, this is just every administrative page in the software, so including how to manage card holders and reports. Um, you, the next tab is access control, which would include um, all the hardware, so like access, readers and doors, alarm panels, um, that kind of stuff. You'll also see we have a lot of icons here. Uh, we can go ahead and open the system tree. This will give us the hardware tree, any holiday schedules, uh, time zones, access levels. We can also go to the access panels. This will give us all the panels on the system, um, by sorted by panel type. So if we scroll over to the Linnell 2220, we can see our access panel there, uh, what connection it uses, IP information, all that good stuff. Uh, the next one over here is going to be readers and doors. This is card all the card readers on the system. And as we can see here, there's also some good options in this menu for those. We have things like held open time, which is going to be the amount of time the door can be held open before it generates a held open alarm. The strike time, which is how long the strike fires after a valid badge read. Uh, there's also things like reader modes, so when the reader is online and offline, which mode it automatically goes to. And card format, which is what card formats this reader is configured to accept. So we're going to go ahead and cancel out of here, and we're going to go to card holders. Now this page is where all the card holders on the system are listed, which badge numbers they have, and which access levels they're assigned. So let's go ahead and go to an example card holder. I'm going to close this just to bring the whole page up. So as you can see, it's got the first and last name, what type of badge they have. This system also includes their title and a picture. So if we scroll over to the badge tab up on the top here, you'll see the, of the badge ID here, what date the badge was activated, and what date the badge is deactivated. If we need to modify that, we can go ahead and hit modify here. We can change the badge status, we can de uh, change the deactivate date or activate date of the badge if we would like. Additionally, we can go to the access levels tab, and we can see all the access levels that this person has. If you right-click the access level, and do level definition, it'll show all of the doors that are in that access level. If you need to find a specific person within the system, there's also a search feature. So if you hit search, you can search by first or last name or badge type or really any field that you would like. So let's say I want to find a specific person. I can just type their last name and they'll appear here. This part of the software is also where we would run reports from. And we can do so by going up to the top and selecting Administration, and then Reports. This will bring up a page of all the reports on the system. There's quite a few. Um, this is where the Help menu comes in handy. But I'm, So in order to run a report, let's go ahead and just select a report here. So I want uh, all cardholders with access sorted by last name that are on this system. So now that I've got that set up, I can hit Preview. The report will generate, and we can see all of the cardholders that have access to our system here.